Well, hey guys, Tim Lurch here. Today I'm going to talk about and answer some questions about my right hand. Um, I use a, a number of different right hand techniques. We had a kind of an interesting discussion the other day on Facebook about right hand issues. Um, I'm known as a fingerstyle guy, uh, you know, playing solo guitar. Um, but I play a lot of stuff with, with the pick as well. And um, I also hybrid pick, which is just kind of comes naturally. The other thing that I do, and people were asking particularly about, a lot of guys do this in one way or another, um, that's pretty common, but when you're playing with a pick, let's say you like to play um, single lines, I kind of float my hand when I do that, and then occasionally, um, even when I'm playing jazz uh, type sounds, I will reach up and pluck a note or two with a, a, a one of my fingers. But I also will ditch the pick, what I call ditch the pick, and it looks a little bit like that. I take the pick from my thumb and index place, and I just push it there. So now it's between the two knuckles of my uh, left hand. Let's see if I can hold my hand in a way that the camera will see it. Right there. Yeah, there you go. And then I just continue playing. And I can still do mostly my regular single note style. And in fact, I've gotten so used to having it there, it almost sometimes I have to get used to having it not be there doesn't impinge my movement at all, um, maybe a teeny little bit. I don't usually have to worry about it falling out, and then when I want it back again, it's just a movement like that. And it seems like I can often play uh, a note or pull off or put a rest in. <laughs> it doesn't really happen like without a break. I have to kind of have a little break in the music, of course. All right, there. That's my, my right hand. When I was um, trying to put all this stuff together over the years, I realized that, um, <clears throat> like I saw guys would play finger style. Um, I even knew a guy who was very good. He put his pick on his knee, so he would put the pick down on the knee. And he might play a passage. And then he'd pick up the pick, and then he would tip his hand down and play that style. Some guys play really good that way, but then when he'd go back to playing with his fingers, he would maybe he would tuck the pick or put it down or whatever. And then he'd change the entire attitude of his hand. So he would always do this. And I, I didn't think that was, um, for me anyway, a very practical way to go. I never really played that sort of tip-down style. And I learned early on not to support, um, except with the backs of my knuckles, a little bit on the strings. <laughs> just sort of some some contact there um, so I decided that whether I, whether I was playing finger style pick style um, or hybrid style I would basically hold my hand in the same position. 
So if you look at that, if you didn't know I had a pick in my hand, it would look like I was playing finger style. And if I have, you know, so that way everything's always the same here. The back of my hand, the, the wrist, the elbow. Um, and uh, I don't flick my wrist for the motion from string to string. I use, my elbow is the movement from string to string. So if I'm doing strumming style, it's, there's a flick of the wrist, but there's also the movement of the elbow, which moves this ever so slightly. So if the elbow moved maybe one inch, it translates down here to being the entire distance that I might like. So it's not a big movement with the elbow. Um, and I have a... Right, so as I move from high to low, I'm moving my, from my elbow. I'm not planting and then arc, an, an, uh, anchoring and then reaching with my el my wrist to try and change my attitude. So that that's another thing that um, is important to know. Anyway, so that's a little a little um, uh, you know short video about my picking. Um, why don't I play something? Uh, Take care, guys.